Hi, it's Ken McNamara from KRE Race Engines. On this episode of Crimsafe Talking Tech, I'll give you a tour through our uh, race engine shop. When the engines come into our shop, uh, they also get stripped down the back. Um, the engine blocks all get uh, ready for honing. Steel engines for the 360 sprint cars and the V8 supercars. And then the aluminium blocks for the uh, 410 sprint cars. Um, they'll get put in the um, engine hone over here, which we hone all the blocks to you know, the clearances that we need for road racing or speedway. So this is one of the V8 supercar signal heads. It's just been um, getting the seats done after racing at Perth. So they'll get all the valve angles preset to where we have our um, for that particular cylinder head, and it'll get done, uh, put on a flow bench, tested, and then serviced, ready for the next race to go on. We have um, you know, machinery to repair stuff. The machine Luke's a qualified engine and conditioner, and is doing valves and stuff from the supercar heads. But um, yeah, we have like 12 people here, um, from parts people to engine builders and engine reconditioners. So it's more specific to what we do in um, race engines than road car stuff. But their background is you've got to still got to learn the trade to understand all the how to use all the machinery and stuff. Everything's labelled and. All the mileages are checked for which parts will be replaced on the next build. As you can see, everything's late, you know, in position so nothing gets mixed up. And we know when it goes from crack testing to machine shop that everything gets looked after and replaced as required. Uh, this is one of the engines back from the development series from Perth, so it'll come back. It's, it's done a whole year's racing, so it'll get stripped down, everything get checked, and then um, it'll be ready for the next race up in Townsville. Uh, this is one of our sprint car engines, done the season's racing, so as you see it's just getting torn down. It'll, um, same thing, will be crack tested and all the parts will be inspected, mileage will be checked and then get re rebuilt to race um, September this year. This is one of our engines going back together for uh, the next round. It's set up, had all the machining done, new pistons, lifters, and everything checked and all the mileage is done, parts replaced as required, and uh, it'll have the cylinders put on this afternoon and be on the dyno tomorrow. So this is a complete engine that's all been assembled, ready to uh, go on the dyno. Uh, it's got the cylinders on, the inlet manifold, airbox tray, all the wiring. Here's a motor ready finished on the dyno. Um, it'll be run up, bed in, or everything checked, uh, no leaks, no dramas, mapping's good, and make sure what's within horsepower of where it needs to be depending on weather conditions and if it's all good probably on here for probably two hours two and a half hours and then it'll come off be serviced and then um, taken over the race team for the next event security screens? Most Crimsafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real Crimsafe doesn't, thanks to its patented screw clean. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But Crimsafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. Crimsafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today, because if it's not Crimsafe, it's not Crimsafe.